Hey guys, Demon Razor Blade here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, we started the game, did other stuff, and did starting stuff, so let's side jump in here, or just go in here, whatever. So, let's start the actual main game of this, and you might be wondering why I did it up off the last episode kind of short. Well, that was because, uh, yeah, just because. Okay. Hi there, good to see you. I have some bad news, though. See, I had a launch star already for you, but a meteor smashed it up. You can't leave without it, so find all the star chips to fix it. Yeah, so basically, we have to find all the star chips, which is, I basically know where about ever, where all the star chips are, so don't worry about that, because I've played this introduction so many dang times, I'm just gonna get this, which is a 1-up. 1-ups are always in Mario games anyways, that's the last starship. And now the large star is over there, I'm not gonna be a daredevil and long jump to it, I'm gonna long jump to it now! Yeah! So basically, this first level is also known as the Gateway Galaxy. You might be wondering, like, uh, yeah, it's actually really not that hard. It's actually, like, a very easy, simple level. Because it's the first level in the dang game. So, basically he's saying that we have to spin into the Goobas, or you can just, uh, do this and stomp on them. If I can stomp on him, you don't need to spin it. If you spin into him, then you'll become dizzy, then you, ki then you can kick him if you run into him. But I just like stomping on him, because stomping's always better than in Go uh, better to do with Goombas. Because they deserve to be stomped on, you know? It's better. And transform! That was actually kind of late. But whatever. So anyways, uh, if you hit these, they can, uh, but, uh, like, make anybody dizzy on here. But I don't like doing that. I think it's easier just to hit the guy and kick him. Because it's an awesome, like, huge Goomba. Kind of like in Super, Mar Super Massive Galaxy. Because, you know, the Super Massive Galaxy and Galaxy 2. And see, we're already on, like, a... A minute and something, we're already almost done with this actual dang level, like seriously. This level is shorter than short on shorts. What the hell was that, man? I don't know. But it's short. It is dang short. Let's go in this pipe. See, we're already at the end of it. We've been waiting for you. Are you a stalker too? You're just like your mother. That's the Grand Star, we have to save it. They're using the Grand Star to power that awful machine. It looks like it's making something. Yeah, it's probably making your mom. I don't know. We have to do something before the Grand Star's power is drained. Quick, find a way to stop that terrible machine. Okay. If you don't know, I'm actually recording this right after the other part. The reason why is because I am. Uh, I, hey, did I in, did I tell you to hit me? No. Get the coin. Because coins do refill your uh, health. So basically, we have to turn off all these switches. Well. Oh. How did you turn back on? That's why I want to know. How do you turn back on? You're not supposed to turn back on. When I turn you off, you get you stay turned off. You know what I'm saying? You stay turned off. Yay. Let's just uh, get all these flip switches. Ding, jigger, turned off. And Goomba, if you hit me, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you if you hit me. And you did not. And I opened this. We opened this thing. And then this grand star thing. I'm a jigger that they talked about. Pairs and... Then we grab the grand star, and then we're all happy, like, do, 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 we got a grand star! But I said that way too fast, and... You got a grand star! Yeah, I'm not gonna be doing, like, do, 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 You got a star. Because I cannot hear the audio, and I'm gonna be way off sync, because, uh, that's basically it. <clears throat> Whatever, so, uh... We got our first star... Actually, a grand star. So basically, we see this pitch black thing, and this thing makes the little ball into a bigger ball, and yeah, sorry about that. I just had this uh, something. So, and that part of the observatory lit up. Yep, it's the called yeah, the observatory. And what are we on? We're on only four minutes. Actually, it's pretty good. Pretty good for my standards of living. For my standards of living, yeah. Grand Star Rescue from the Gateway Galaxy, first star obtained. We discovered a new galaxy. Oh, it's somewhere in the Terrorist Dome. Yep, I'm gonna call the Terrorist Dome the Terrorist. I'm gonna call the Terrorist Dome the Terrorist Zone Dome. Yeah. The beacon is lit again. It shines weakly, maybe only as bright as a Class 6 star, but at least the poor Lumens will survive now. Oh, thank you for saving the Grand Star. These star people are my family. They mean so much to me. Welcome to the Comet Observatory. It's my home and also home to the Lumas. You see, we travel the starry skies. We pass by this area once every 100 years, but we suddenly stopped in front of this planet. 
A strange force had latched onto our ship, pulling away Starbits and our power sources, power stars. Our ship had lost power, so it entered a deep hibernation state in which it could not move. Well, that's kind of what hibernation means! Those who took your special one picked up the power stars and discovered the power to cross the universe. Please, I have a request. You should have heard her say please. Whatever. This observatory uses star power to project images of the galaxies that are scattered across space. And there is a chance we can use our few remaining stars to look out for other power stars. These round rooms are called domes. We observe galaxies from s domes such as these. Only... Only one that is working now, powered by the star power you restored, is the one in the terrace. I'm gonna skip the rest of this text. It's really not that important, as you see. Okay, I'm gonna read this guy. He's awesome. If we do that, we'll be able to restore the Comet Observatory's ability to fly like a starship. Then perhaps we can pursue the thieves who ran off with the power stars. Okay, so as you see, I'll be saving after every star because my game is a thing where it corrupts at times. I don't like it, so anyways, let's long jump over here. I forgot to show how to long jump. Press Z and A to do that, and you do a long jump. So let's go in the Terrace Dome. First dome in the game. Welcome. This dome acts as an eye of the observatory. From here, we can gaze upon distant galaxies. Once this Luma transforms into a pole star, he'll guide you to those galaxies. Yes, so basically you'll turn into a pole star. And then what I like to do is I like to backflip and then grab the pole star. That's something I always do. So I'm just going to skip this text. It's basically saying this shows all the galaxies, stuff like that. I just want to get the first star in the first uh, galaxy done in this episode. So let's open this galaxy. Sorry if it's a little, like, things we might remote. It's a little shaky. So let's see the good egg galaxy. It's basically saying that yeah, there are power stars in this area. So anyways, to fly to a galaxy, you press fly to this galaxy. And now let's start the first galaxy in the game. The Good Egg Galaxy. First star, Dino Piranha. Yes, kind of a, like, really kind of a uncreative name, as I might say. Yes, I'd say it's a pretty uncreative name. And I'm just so happy that I'm playing through Galaxy again. This will be my third playthrough of this game, and... Oh my god, I just love this game. This game is just so awesome. I love it a lot more than, uh, Galaxy 2. I want you to long jump over here. Yeah, that's kind of the shortcut I always take, and over here you can actually get a lot of star bits. Like, if you jump in succession, which I did not do, if you'll actually get, like, a whole bunch of star bits, which I, like I said, I did not do. So, anyways, let's see if we can- you can actually backflip into this. See, you can act, you, don't, you usually would talk to Luma and he'd make a little, uh, like, little sling star, but you can actually backflip into it, then shake, then shake again to get up there, so... Now we have to collect some more star chips. Star chips are always the great thing of the galaxy. Stuff like that. So, uh, where are the other star chips? That's the thing. There's one here. Okay, one more. One more. There it is. Whoa, no getting hit. No getting hit here. Star chip. Got. Okay. Oh my god, I might practice running this. I almost died here. I, that, would, that would have been stupid if I died on the first galaxy, right? I had like one health left, but I'm doing this a lot faster than I was. Yeah, a lot faster. Come on, homing attack, yes. Also, I forgot to show you the homing attack. If this guy doesn't grab on, just jump, shake, and press Z after that to do a homing attack. That's just, uh, something cool to do. Now, let me just, uh, shake these guys off and long jump over here. Yes, you'll see that I'm going to be speedrunning a lot of parts to this game. And also, you can long jump here and then just, uh, hit this guy. Yeah, I'm speedrunning this level like crazy here. Like, I never speedrun it this much. Like, it's just because I want to speedrun this level. I want to get this level done in this episode. Also, if you shake here and then kick this guy, you can get a whole bunch of star bits. Like I said, you want to get, you want to collect a good amount of star bits and levels. I will be doing star bit grinding, and also if you get 50 star bits, you get a one up. I think it's the same thing if you get 100 coins, but uh, I don't know about that. And I wanted to triple jump up here, but it kind of didn't work out. So let's get this now. Let's side jump, side jump into this. Thank you. Now we're already at the boss of the level. Yes, it's a boss. Yeah, you might be thinking, whoa, there's a boss this early in the game. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. There's a boss here. What is this boss name? What is this boss's name, I mean? It is Dino Piranha. Yeah, but we're not in the fight yet, so... Basically, to inflict damage, you want to hit his tail. And make him less smexy each time. Like Chuck Conroy says. 
He's not fabulous anymore. I actually rolled my R there like like Mario would do. No, it's more like a Luigi. Even though I would uh, like to do Luigi Galaxy, but because Luigi is my favorite out of the Mario, but I don't want to play the game again as Mario. So, whatever, and we already killed him. That's how easy the guy is. Technically, you could say he takes five hits. Like, you would say the first hit is when you hit him on the eggshell, and the second hit is when you uh, get, hit him on the eggshell again to break the eggshell, third hit, and then fifth, fourth, and fifth. But technically, it's not that. It's just technically supposed to be three. So, anyways. You got a star. Yes, yeah, so it's only ten minutes. We already have... Two stars in this episode, so yay! I'm not doing another one because it's 10 minutes already and I have the 15 minute time limit, so I don't want to do that. So, anyways, 106 star bits. Now, this guy's gonna be, after you save your game, he's gonna be teaching you something quickly. Okay. So, this time he's gonna be, so let's see what he has to offer. Those star, those things are star bits. To Lumas, they are the tastiest, most delectable treats imaginable. Aim your pointer at the screen and point. Your pointer at the them to pick it up. It would point. It was supposed to be point your Wii remote and then, ever so. He's just basically telling us uh, I could actually press B to shoot star bits at him. Collect the star bits and then uh, shoot them at the Luma. Oh, I don't think I hit him that one time. I think this is the last one. Yep, I missed him the one time. Mmm, tasty. Let's call those little morsels my fee for this lesson. You can also shoot them at enemies. Or feed to them to a hungry Luma. Either way, I am sure Star Bits will be a big help on your adventure. So, anyways, in the next episode of Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy, we're gonna be continuing the Good Egg Galaxy by probably, hopefully, getting the last two stars and maybe moving on to this galaxy. I have no idea. So, this has been JTL9. Are you serious? I almost said JTL9. Yeah, I'm not gonna get like very mad. So, this has been Demon Razor Blade. Take. So see you later, and watch me move this thing around. So, see you later, and goodbye.